This is the video for lesson 39 on my website, Building a Multiplication Table. In lesson 10, we saw a small multiplication table showing us how to multiply numbers 1 through 6. This lesson is just an extension of that table where I've extended the multiplication table up through 12. Recall how to use the multiplication table. If I want to multiply 4 times 7, what I'll do is I'll go down to 4 along the left and then go to the right along the top to 7 and then see where those where that row and that column intersect and of course the answer is 28 now recall that multiplication is commutative that means that instead of doing 4 times 7 I can also do 7 times 4 I can go down the left to 7 go across the top to 4 and they also intersect at 28 as expected make sure that you have this table memorized and that you can recreate it for yourself very quickly and very easily that's very important. It, this will come into play again and again throughout all the math that you'll study. Recall that multiplication has a zero property. What that means is simply that any number times zero equals zero, which makes sense. Zero groups of something is just zero. Make sure that you can easily list multiples of any number that you're given. The way to actually do that is just by reading across the row. So if somebody asks you to list multiples of 7, you would simply say 7, 14, 21, 28, 35, 42, etc. It's very important that you can do that very quickly and easily. You'll see later that it just comes up again and again, and it's a very important skill to have. Just make sure that you've memorized this table, and we'll come back to it again in future lessons.